Oklahoma State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He just drills this one. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Pass right, running back's got it. Run down, right around the 36-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Hits him hard at the 44. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. down 10 yards to go ball on the 48 yard line tackle after a decent run up the gut Game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. First and ten, ball on the 38. You know, I've talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really to sell the play action and sell the fake. Take the time for the quarterback to really sell the fake. It's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big plays. And this play is number eight on the drive. Got it and brought down immediately. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. And he might want it all here and does. Touchdown, Kansas State. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. He hits the PAT. A nine play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7 0. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Whoa, he just took a licking. The Cowboys and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get guys and make tackles and That's a great tackle at the 42. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future.
from their own 42-yard line. First down, Kansas State up seven points. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. And he has it on the corner. Nice run there. They're about four yards away here on second down. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. Taken down. And the 24 yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play to the offense. the 29-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. This is the eighth play of the night. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That's a loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Here, ball on the 32-yard line. Kansas State is up by a touchdown. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. What was most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. The quarterback comes back on the field and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. And they make the stop at the 32. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. From their own 32-yard line, second down. The ball is loose. The defense falls on it. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. He's into the open field. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. They go to the left for a nice game. Second 
not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-0, Kansas State. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Kansas State is up seven. Nice run there as they work the outside. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11. spectacular run by the quarterback that is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy and he converts the extra point a four play 37 yard drive and a touchdown as a result and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff and he got all this one great kick and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed in space these guys got a chance to put up a shutout right, he'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook and down he goes at about the 33-yard line. Number 98 brings him down at the 33-yard line. Five wide. Second and two. Green nine, green nine. Orange three, orange three. Got him in the screen play. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Taken back three yards. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. from their own 30-yard line. Third down. Go four! Steps out of bounds at the 34. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're gonna come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Booming kick. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. A nice job on the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Taken down in the backfield. That is a loss of three yards. Third down. snap count there it really made a nice play that'll bring up second and 12. on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Here we go. They 
makes it, and he's tackled short. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Oh, excellent punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Oklahoma State's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kurt. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs is just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star player is not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think mean, now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack and really put points on. He's out to the 30. Tackle around the 45-yard line. He started to run and saw that the field ahead of him was wide open. That's a huge play. Mike six. Mike six. He's out of bounds around the 46-yard line. A gain of one. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. From their own 46-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Motion, motion, motion. Go! Here's the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 49-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. And off, and he's met immediately. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Kansas State's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. He's got the corner. Brought down in the open field. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on their own 21. Makes it out to about the 30. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. The Wildcats are going to call their second timeout. Now he's scrambling, and he is drilled at the 31 yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Once it all, going deep. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 24. Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. Kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 17 to nothing. Kansas State. Kansas State is ready to kick it away. And they can forget about returning this one. 
It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They come out in a five-wide set. Here he goes. Makes it to the 37. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 17 to nothing, Wildcats. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The paper, the stats, all the previews say this game should be even. It's not even at halftime. In fact, it looks as if this squad just got pushed around. They got bullied out here in the first half. Uh, one team's playing big boy football, the other team's playing peewee football. I mean, it's definitely been, it's been surprising to watch, but at some point, you just got to man up. I mean, you got to say enough's enough, and, and you got to respond because you had opportunities in the first half, and every single opportunity, big boy football kept winning. And some, you got the little guys got to make a play. I mean, you can only get pushed around so much and, and not respond to it. And right now, it's just been disappointing to watch. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He goes downtown, and it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. And he tackles him hard at the 43. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Runs it left for a decent game. Gets to around the 42. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. made around the 42 yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it! They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick! 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Yeah, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Down! Green 18! He scrambles. Wants to throw outside. And they make the stop at the 48. That makes it first and 10. Dog kill kill. Green and two. And he's level at the 45. The ball is loose, and they fall on the loose ball. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. He's going left. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver. But it all starts with the big fellows up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. the 31-yard line. It's second down. Just throws this one away. Try a long field goal here. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Fires to his fullback, no good. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Red two. Easy, easy. He goes out of bounds at the 31. Kill, kill! 
two, two kill. Orange three. Yeah. Man, oh, what a hit. Call it a gain of four yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and six. six. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. Kill, and kill, kill. And down he goes at about the 45. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Go, kill! He's tackled at the 22. That makes it first and ten. He's got another one. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Number 33 brings him down at the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Incomplete one of his receiver. It's second and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. Scrambling around. And he can't get away from the pressure. That makes his third and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Caught end zone for the touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two point conversion. Nice 10 play, 75 yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Kansas State's just rolling along and showing no signs right now, slowing down here in the third quarter. I think the big thing that you're seeing right now is just the way they're playing with confidence, especially the quarterback. I think they are very, very confident with every play call that it has a chance to be able to move the football down and continue to be able to put points up on the board. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on their own 27. He fights forward to about the 30. Gain of three yards. That'll make it 35. And he hits him hard at the 24-yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. That's three down and one to go. The Wildcats lead it by 17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's tackled at the 36. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Check 
He flings it right. Incomplete. Almost picked off. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Dog four. Go. Slings it. It's the sophomore that's got it. Tackle right around the 24-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's tackled at the 14-yard line. Number 33 on the tackle at the 14-yard line. Second and ten. Ball of the 14. Steps out of bounds at the 13. And he throws right away. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Oklahoma State lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. And they get the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's taken down at the 34. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that he's got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That, that makes it first and ten. Black, black five, black go. five. Aaron and out long. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. And he's 
taken down at the three-yard line. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Less than three minutes in the game. Easy, here we go, here we go. Easy. Three, nine. That's a great tackle at the one. Discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. So the offense will stay on the field. It's fourth down from the two. He's got a touchdown. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the rule on the field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. Trying to get within a field goal, they'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 66-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 28. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Kansas State is up a field goal. First down grab by the receiver. And he is drilled to 39-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39. tries to buy some time. Looks like he's going to run. And he tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Gets to about the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, second down. They hand it off again. Nice run there. side of things and why not his defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter the kick is up and he nails the long field goal kick and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma State staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. Once and all, going deep. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. First down. Oh, 
It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Dog four. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Spikes the ball. He wants it all going long. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. It's first down. Tough spot here deep in their own territory. Kansas State with a six-point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. This one's all but wrapped up. Wildcats come out on top. 26 20. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.